You have reached the voice mailbox of... At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up I or press tone for more reason. options.
did that Yeah, you crossed the line about a thousand times and I did that Yeah, I stayed a while, tried to make it right Cigarette No, I never smoked, but my heart is broke Explosive Stressing for that old thing back, back, back That initial love All the loose bumps Those factors in my gut Wanna go back to how it was Lay in each other's arms all day, all day. Send me gifts just because Tell me where we went wrong Started down as homies Ended up as lovers How they get so ugly Can't we rediscover, baby What it was Or well, let's be honest it was just a love You were so romantic We were picture perfect So much freaking passion Why we never got it back, babe? It was just a love Really wish you didn't push me away I was willing to try long as it takes I would never say we were a mistake, but fleeting romance does in a lifetime. Yeah. That initial play, all the goosebumps, those letters in my gut, turn into disgust. What a waste of love, babe. I just wanna go back to how we. Why we never got it back, babe If you miss me, just say that, babe Love on I don't deserve what you put me through So you don't deserve one more chance, it's true I still miss you Times and I did that. Yeah, I stayed a while, tried to make it right. Cigarette. No, I never smoked, but my heart is broke. Explosive. Stressing for that old thing back, back, back. That initial love. All the goosebumps. Those factors in my gut. Say we 
friends it feels like i haven't spoken to you guys properly in weeks it's because your girl has been going through the most okay um from my health being really bad i had a swollen face because i had a swollen tooth well not swollen tooth um swollen gum so i was not feeling well at all um if i could show you guys a video on how i looked you probably would make me a meme so yeah i wasn't good i was vlogging midway and then kind of stopped because of not being well but yeah right now i'm going to the mall and yeah guys so i am finally home i'm literally holding my other phone as a flash girl <laughs> yeah yeah uh, uh, your life anyway this is what i got um to be honest i don't even know if i needed these things but i know i needed them you know what i mean face caffeine and stuff and obviously i needed to stock up on essential stuff i'm gonna be trying this laundry liquid um, detergent i really hope it works because i just feel like the powder one tends to clog up in my washing machine so yeah but anyway also your girl got a small packet of legs instead of a big one instead of getting my five star chocolate i got a dark chocolate because your girl is back on her zoom i think i'll try and make time tomorrow morning to talk about it and really greet you guys properly because i feel like i just was like hi friends and then just continued with the vlog so yeah anyway these are the things that i got i got some lettuce and baby spinach i got coriander i got sourdough bread i got some coffee i got um tin tomato to get this big as one um i got blueberries because i do have strawberries still i got my red bull i got some honey because i'm also trying to cut down on sugar like that type of sugar that one um i got butter I got Canberry juice as usual. Um, and then I got some chicken. I got chicken thighs, chicken breast um, underneath. You guys can't see, but it's underneath. But I got some chicken breast as well. I got drumsticks and then I got some mints. And then I got the and then I got the pasta special as well. As you guys can see and that's pretty much it you know what i mean um <sighs> things are expensive guys like the economy is in the floor it's in the pits it's in the hell i mean hell and i got some stuff from pep but i think i'm gonna go back to pep on friday because there's actually something that i really want there so yeah i think i'll go back <laughs> Friends. 
A new campaign um i'm exhausted honey i need to open this up because i feel like the deadline is for tomorrow so that means that i might have to do this tonight or early tomorrow morning when the sun shines like the way that i've been so busy yeah my lips <laughs> the way that i've been so busy it's unbelievable it's it's truly unbelievable um i don't know what to say i don't know what to say even my eyelashes are tired i was supposed to walk this afternoon and i couldn't because i was so overwhelmed by work by the time the day ended i was like honey no i'm tired i'm dead i'm feet i'm defeated and i realized that i didn't take any chicken out <laughs> for me to make dinner so I might have to order downstairs. <laughs> Thank you. 
is Friday and it looks so cute. It is Friday. I feel like tomorrow will be a great opportunity for us to talk. This morning I did content for Ingrams. I'm so excited for this content because you know I'm a skincare girly. <laughs> Period. today and i can finally speak to you guys like it's been a hot minute okay like i said in the intro to this video um your girl got sick your girl was overwhelmed with deadlines your girl was stressed a lot was going on and i just struggled to vlog if i had to be honest like i was just like you know what let me prioritize my mental health and my physical health right now and um leave vlogging to the side you know even on instagram and tiktok i'm trying to you know show y'all that i'm still alive i'm trying to push a bit of content there and there and um yeah I'm, I'm still struggling i'm not even posting as much as i used to you know what i mean so you know this vlog was mainly to get myself back on track and like find myself again um find passion the love that i have for living you know what i mean okay that sounds dramatic but you get what i mean like i think when you're going through the most you're like just so demotivated you're just so bleh. and i just wanted to feel good again i just wanted to feel like myself again so i decided to prioritize taking care of myself so then getting back on track was gonna be more of an easier journey to you know get back into so yeah I, I honestly right now feel like myself yeah so we're gonna go to the shops right now i need to sort out my mr price account um obviously i lost my wallet and at that time i couldn't do a replacement because i just didn't have time and yeah i haven't done a replacement um since i blocked the account so i need to go and pay for that and get a new replacement card i also want to get a belt and maybe a new purse um at mr price i also want to check out the primer apparently the primer is actually quite good the charlotte hill primer 
so i also want to get that um i also want to um go to pep and just see if i can get another shoe rail i'm going to a different pep this time so hopefully i can find it there but yeah i have a lot of shoes and i think maybe if i get the shoe rail and get two of them i can make it like i can style it up you know what i mean and i also decided to not um go to pip on friday because i just feel like i get excited when it comes to decorative stuff especially for my apartment and i need to remember that i have a studio apartment i can't be buying so many things like as if i have storage to keep some of the old stuff you know um i didn't know that springbuck and um i didn't know that um the match between the box and argentina is literally happening right here where i stay um at the emirates they, i think it's called the emirates stadium now but we all know it as ls park ls park whoa ls park stadium so i'm seeing flags i'm hearing music which is so nice but yeah we're gonna head out to the store and do things um i was want to get stick on nails i thought i was gonna get my nails done but i think i'm gonna do that all in summer and spring honey like i'm gonna even do my lashes in september like did you guys see the line up in september like every weekend something is happening like september is no rest fun time all the way i, I have a lot of things that i want to get i also want to get new supplements for working out because as you guys saw this week your girl is back on her zoom so i also want to just check those things out um, I need a new pre-workout. My pre-workout is Dunzo. So there's just a lot of things that your girl needs to get and stock up on. So yeah, you guys are going to join me, I guess. And I'm just so excited because I am vlogging again. I missed you guys so much. I hope you guys missed me because I missed you. Anyway, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this dress from Mr. Price. It is so cute. It's giving elegant lady and i love that i love that why are we looking so bright oh it's because i'm bright it's giving elegant lady it's giving cleavage it's just giving what it's meant to give okay one thing about mr price their dresses are like doing the most okay so yeah i'm wearing this i'm also wearing these boots from mr price the bag that i'm taking is this one it really doesn't match with my outfit but it matches um this bag is also from mr price you guys know that i'm a mr price at this point i'm a mr price ambassador because everything mr price even jewelry earrings mr price okay so we're gonna head out this is my outfit and i think it's really really cute so yeah guys let's head out i will see you guys when i'm back and yeah I'm just so happy to be back vlogging, okay? I'm so happy. And I also want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from um, Pep Home. I haven't forgotten. I just wanted to go today and get the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Feeling this way to top of the year. Lately, we've been real unsure and clear. Is it just me? Where do you go when you disappear? Tell me your secrets, you got my ear Room to assume is feeding my fears Don't wanna leave, pull me in closer Can we start over? Don't want nobody but you No matter what we go through Keeping it between us two, me and you Can we survive the distance? Like, really, really. There is a space between us. I know healing ain't in stun. But can we survive the this? Lifetimes are going like years right, away. We're now going to Woolworths and then we're going home. I think I did a good job today. Survive the distance. Don't know what we're missing. But there is a space 
between us I know healing ain't in stun But can we survive the days? Lifetimes are going light like years away More it will grow the more we delay I'm just hoping it isn't too late What can I do? Sorry if it's a little cliche I know we're supposed to live in a gray Leave it to chance or leave it to fate But I'm missing you Pull me in closer Can we start over? Don't want nobody but you Keeping it between us two No matter what we go through I stay true But can we survive the Like I tried to do them last Sunday and it didn't work out. They, they were cute, like I did a good job, but like my eyes just looked really droopy. So this time around, I'm gonna use my favorite fluffy ones that I um, always get. I used individuals the last time, let me show you. I used these the last time. And yeah, they just took so much time and it was just very tiring. So I'm gonna just try this again, honey. I'm gonna cut these and let's hope for the best. I'm also using this. Um, this is basically the Isla London Super Fix Clear Finish. Um, so I'm not happy 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 sunday i hope you guys are doing good i've been so productive this morning i feel good um i was editing content for ingrams and um i did a little cute tiktok haul for pep home so i'm in my i'm in my bag i'm i'm i love it when i'm consistent like this but anyway i wanted to show you guys all the stuff that i got from pep home so let's just get started with this haul but before we do what do you guys think of my at home extensions they're not bad they're not bad like they're not bad okay i still need to purchase some more but for now they're not bad so firstly i got this shoe rack um the shoe rack i saw it trending on tiktok and i'm like black still goes with the theme of this apartment so i got two of these so as i said i got two of these because i'm gonna stack them next to one another yeah i'm so excited because i have a lot of shoes to be honest and they don't fit in the wardrobe that's why sometimes i have 
you know the shoes behind the couch so i'm so happy to have these now so then i can put my shoes at an appropriate place and then um and then i got this rug i think when it comes to rugs and vases or vases i tend to buy them a lot like i have one rug that's outside i have two rugs that are in my wardrobe and one rug that's here and i've got another one um i just feel like this goes a little bit more with my you know style my vibe so yeah basically it's the same size rug as the one that i currently have i think the other two rugs i'm gonna take it to pinville which is my family home clean it with my cousins and you know decorate my little cousins rooms yeah because you know the young little girls you know they they they're almost entering their pre-teens so i'm sure they would love a cute little like decorative bedroom so i think i'll take um the two rugs that i have to help decorate their rooms i think that will be so cute i love bonding with my little cousins because i'm an only child guys as much as i talk about my brother he's a cousin literally all of my cousins are my first cousins i'm the oldest so they are like siblings to me you know what i mean so yeah i think that will be cute but this rug is everything isn't it how cute it is i think this was 330 rand basically 390 no 329 so 330 um and the rails were 139 so basically 140 and then i also saw these trending on tiktok and i was like these are so cute um i got this wooden stand i saw the girl she put her spices on this and her oil um by her kitchen so i thought that was also cute i'll see if that works if that doesn't work i might put this on my coffee station type of thing if it doesn't work i will put it as a decorative piece right next to my couch over there um yeah i'll still figure out where i'm gonna put this but i think it's gonna be really cute because it just gives a bit of dimension in the apartment you know i'm learning these things on tiktok guys from you know interior designers they like you know create some dimension things that are high things are low so I'm in my bag okay so we'll figure out how we're gonna do this and then i got this this is basically like a snack board um you know you can put platter fruits and everything so i think this is also very cute um when we're having snacks and um fruits it's the vibe you know instead of using like a normal plate i use this as a platter and then i got a new toilet cleaner brush thingy um i currently have one but i got it when i first moved here so that's very unhygienic so i decided to get a new one that goes with the um containers that i have in my bathroom already my you know tooth holder and my soap dispenser is exactly the same theme so yeah uh -huh. i also got these containers um to be honest i think they are supposed to be for the bathroom for you know a soap dispenser but to be honest i want to use this for the coffee station i want to remove the ones that i got from value co they're just not doing what they are meant to do like it doesn't come out so hopefully if i change this up the syrup will come out if this doesn't work i might just use this for like my washing uh detergents you know but i don't know guys but these are really cute i'll just figure it out um it's 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 in between i'm i'm in between using these for cleaning supplies or using this for like you know my coffee station or cooking stuff or using this as my soap dispenser for the kitchen you know instead remove the one that i currently have which is plastic and change it to this um but i think the one that's plastic is so much safer because uh, that thing falls so much when i'm doing the dishes because i literally have one sink so sometimes when i'm like doing a lot of dishes the soap just falls 
and I'm glad that it's plastic so it doesn't break so I don't know I'll figure out what we're gonna use this for but they're so cute these were 49.99 basically 50 rand and yeah you could get ones with silver but they were sold out it was only gold um, lids so yeah the way that I've been looking for these glasses guys I am so happy to finally find them and yeah they're so cute like champagne sparkling wine is just gonna it's just gonna slap with this cocktails i'm just so happy that like i have most you know glasses for all types of beverages i have whiskey glasses i have shot glasses i have champagne glasses i have martini glasses i don't know what glass you would call this but yeah it's still cute okay like come on and look how big they are like love it for me and this was 29.99 basically 30 rand and then and then i decided to get this casserole um tray because my last casserole tray which was white broke and i realized that the white casserole trays are so hard to clean especially if they have details on the side because now you need to scrub in between the you know the the detail and it's just it's just so annoying when it comes to cleaning so i decided to get a clear glass one and yeah this was 90 oh i'm lying 69.99 and yeah nice and big also perfect for meal prepping because your girl is in her meal prepping bag so this is so convenient i completely forgot that i bought two cutting boards well the first cutting board that i bought from pep the last time i don't think i showed it in the vlog if i don't remember correctly um to be honest i wasn't going to use it to like really cut stuff it's just for decorative purposes or when i'm doing a cheese board type of thing so yeah i got this other one that is square from pep which is there by my kitchen and then i thought let me get a practical cheese board for like everyday things so i got this um simple white um, cutting board and this was 49.99 basically 45 rand and yeah um apparently these type of white boards are more hygienic because the wood cutting boards tend like the food and you know juices tend to go in between the wood apparently i don't know so i decided to get this but when i was at value co i found the cutting board that i've been looking for which is a bigger one because i do want to do what do i eat in a day um type of videos for you guys not only here on youtube but also on tiktok so i wanted to get a big board which i found so wow am i becoming a hoarder like what is this honey and then i got a new knife um i got a new knife i have the exact same type of knife but it's very blunt and i've been trying to sharpen it and it's not sharpening so i just got another one at least just have two and then i got kitchen scissors because i've been using these small little scissors for everything so i decided to get a proper you know kitchen scissors like one time my brother was like do you have um kitchen scissors and i'm like no and he's like for someone who cooks you don't have kitchen scissors i was like so now i have them okay so um the knife was 21.99 and then the scissors were 19.99 and then lastly from pip i just got this no slip storage bin to be honest i am not sure where this is gonna go i was thinking maybe in the fridge where maybe i would put berries instead because i also heard that you know keeping your berries not closed it lasts longer that's what i heard i don't know if it's true so this is not specifically for the kitchen but i'm gonna use it for the kitchen okay or i might use it in my drawers for storage i'm not sure guys i'm thinking maybe i should put my teas in here actually yeah that's a good plan i think i'm gonna put my teas here so yeah because my teas are sitting very um awkwardly very awkwardly in that in that um drawer of mine so yeah we'll organize my teas in here so yeah that's basically what i got from pep i think i roughly spent around 
1080 rand so 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 that's not that bad that's not that bad um i think it, if i'm maybe it's like 1.2 i'm not sure but it's not that bad i have almost been to 2000 when shopping at pep um so so i also wanted to show you some of the stuff that i got from value co things that i've been looking for for such a long time and for the fact that i found it in value co like in the aisle where it's the clearance aisle i couldn't believe it i was like what a lucky day amen so i got this cutting board basically i wanted this big cutting board and i think this is just gonna be the best cutting board i've ever bought in my life and it was so affordable compared to the cutting boards at checkers because i almost went to checkers to buy or to look for this um cutting board and the last time i checked it was 250 and i think i got this for only 80 89 rand or somewhere there so very affordable and then i finally found this i don't know if i've ever mentioned it to you guys on you know youtube but i've been looking for this this fruit basket this is the one that i've been looking for because my apartment is small guys i live in a studio so having the big um you know fruit basket that i currently have was so unrealistic like it's so big so i'm just so happy to have finally found these they also have bigger ones you know for those that maybe are looking for something similar but a bigger one um this was 89.99 um pricey for this okay it's not pricey but still like it should have been 50 rand but yeah so so cute so glad that i found this and then because i'm complaining about my knives not because i'm complaining about my knives not being sharp i decided to be an adult and get a knife sharpener talk about being an adult this was 29.99 it's very sturdy it's very it's it, at least it's a weapon if anybody tries to come into my apartment don't play with me and then i got myself some noodles hot noodles which is nice i got these scissors just to cut you know my eyebrows or you know to cut certain parts of my nails actually this is supposed to be for nails but i bought them to because i have bushy eyebrows so when shaping them i just thought having these little scissors will come in handy so yeah guys that's pretty much what i got from value co i didn't even get facial masks um i think i got two pairs of eyelashes but other than that i didn't get anything else because i have a lot of sheet masks like i don't need to go overboard okay and then i as i told you guys i also went to mr price to get a new belt so yeah i got this belt um from mr price it was 79.99 i needed a new belt literally my belt broke in half because i've gained weight so i needed a new one and then i also got this cute purse um i prefer really small purses guys i was gonna use like a card holder for the meantime but i tend to forget it like at home so i was like ah, let's just get a small purse it's um a velvet leather type of fabric and it's just so cute so simple so cute and easy to put in any bag and this was 69.99 and then um and then i got this primer from charlotte hill this is the per this is the poor burning burning this is the per pour <laughs> this is the pour blurring blurring oh my goodness this is the pour blurring and mattifying gel primer they also have a hydrating one for those who have dry skin i have oily skin and i have my you know pore issues so i needed a primer that like will mattify my face so yeah i saw this girl on tiktok using it and it looked good you know what i mean so um, hopefully 
it it does the job that it needs to do but i got this um this was 69.99 and then i couldn't help myself but i got some dresses from mr price and you guys, at, at, at this point you guys know that I mina mean, i love dresses and i love mr price so i got this dress that was reduced from 229 to 150 rand it's basically similar to the dress that i had yesterday the one that i was wearing the one that you tend to wrap around and then tie um i think it's just so cute especially for work vibes you know what i mean and i'm also collecting these dresses because spring is coming honey i want to be prepared i want to show some skin i want to show some legs i want to show my curves okay that's one period this dress was so cute um it's this chiffon leopard print dress very sexy love this nice and long it's a little bit see-through as i said it's chiffon but it does have another layer underneath and i just think it's so cute especially for casual vibes brunch because i'm telling you guys in summer in spring i'm in my prime i'm in my prime i'm, I'm outside so i'm preparing i'm preparing the stress is everything isn't it like how cute is that so yeah, that's pretty much what I got yesterday. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't go overboard. Um, obviously, you guys also saw that I, I got a bit of groceries as well. I just wanted to get it over and done with. Um, I'm not trying to go outside or go to the mall like every weekend like I thought I would be doing. So I kind of got what I needed for the next week or two. And then I'll go for another run if necessary but yeah that's pretty much what i got so what i'm gonna do now is um pack everything and then we are going to meal prep i'm currently cooking already because my brother's coming through so yeah i'm just gonna you know sort out my fridge the groceries that i got yesterday my fridge is clean i just need to pack things accordingly so we'll do that together but yeah guys your girl like, I'm proud of myself that I didn't go overboard because I know myself. Like, remember the last vlog? Like, your girl got new bed linen, got this, got this, got this. So this time around, I think I got things that I have been looking for. I've been patiently waiting for. So I'm glad that I finally got them. But yeah, let me um, pack all of this stuff and let's sort out the kitchen.
go through all life's changes I can't seem to get your love out of my head 